How is it going? I hope you're having an amazing day today. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do a quick shop update video because I realized it's been a while since I've shown you guys what is going on behind the scenes here at Smetting Performance. We have been in eight stack mode for the last couple weeks. I actually have another eight stack leaving today right here. This is going to a customer in Arizona but I have a second eight stack that has not been sold. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown on this engine. Maybe you guys know somebody who's interested in an eight stack small block Ford, or maybe you yourself has been looking for one of these combos. Like I said, this motor's in stock. Nobody has called for it yet. Nobody's claimed it yet. So if you want it, give us a call. Quick rundown. This is our 427 eight stack crate motor. This particular engine made 610 horsepower and 500 76 foot pounds of torque. That was done with a pump gas compression ratio of 10 to one, hydraulic roller camshaft, tons of vacuum for power brakes. And this one is fully decked out with a full vintage air front runner system. So your alternator's already here, your water pump's built in the timing cover, AC compressor, power steering pump, the whole nine yards. This engine will also include a Holley Terminator EFI system. So it's gonna have the external ECU, the full wiring harness, a little touchscreen controller, and that has all also been tuned to match the engine already. It's been dyno tested, it's been broken in, has a three year unlimited mile warranty, and the best part is it is in stock. So if you're interested in this engine, feel free to give us a call, smettingperformance.com. It's on our website under the specials tab. So with that sales pitch over, let's switch gears and talk about big block jebbies. So these are three of five quintuplet engines that we are building for a monster truck team in Florida. They don't want to be disclosed who they are, but I can still tell you guys what they are and what we're doing. So the three of them we have built, we're still waiting on two engine blocks for the other fourth and fifth one that are, let's just imagine they're sitting there, but they're all identical. And because they're monster truck motors, they're actually pretty rule specific on what we can do to them, more than I thought. So let me give you a quick rundown. These use a Dart Big M engine block with billet steel main caps and 905 lifter bores. So we make the lifter bore a little bit bigger. We go from the Chevrolet to the Chrysler diameter, which gives us a larger wheel, a bigger axle, stronger parts because they run a pretty heavy solid roller valve spring. The actual cubic inch has to be 540. And so these engines are 4.5 inch bore with a four and a quarter inch center counterweighted crankshaft. So it's got center counterweights to give the crankshaft more stability and more strength at higher PM when these engines are full song. They're all gonna run a 1071 blower that is actually a slightly lower helix than what modern blowers are using, again, rules. They are 12 to one compression, solid roller of course, and they're gonna run on methanol fuel. They are gonna have like the big top fuel style hats coming off the top of them. I don't think like full on top fuel, like massive hats, but they are gonna have a triple butterfly hat, mechanical fuel injection with a cam driven fuel pump right off the front. So I'm filming this video on Tuesday. It's gonna to upload tomorrow, today, when you're watching it on Wednesday. And we're gonna start running these engines the following Monday, August 14th. So. Their tuner is gonna come in, he's gonna show me the ropes of how these motors run, and we're gonna run all three of these together, and then when we have the fourth and the fifth one built, we can obviously knock them out on our own since they are providing the fuel system. And they're all quintuplets, same cam, same compression, same cylinder head, you name it. So those are really cool. We are super excited to hear these running on the engine. I'm gonna need to ask him if it's okay that we film the dyno sessions. I don't really know how secretive or how quiet these motors are in the world of monster trucks, um, but I'm sure we'll get some footage for you guys to check out. The other big white elephant in the room is our new Haas VF6. It, the camera does terrible justice of how big this thing is. That's a fully CNC automated Rottler cylinder hone. It's a big hone. And when it sits next to this VF6 Haas machine, oh, here's a good example. It has steps. It's so tall and the table is so big. I mean, there we go, can't even get it in the frame. Here it is next to our old block station, which is being replaced by the VF6. 
So we've been doing all of our boring decking, lifter bore, half inch head stud drilling on this old girl. And it's a great machine. This machine was made in 97 or 98, I think. Um, so it's a little bit younger than I am. And it's a really good machine, but it's kind of limited on what you can do. It's great for block machining and for surfacing and blueprinting, but the potential with this is practically unlimited. So it has a massive table in here, tall enough that we could stand a big block Chevy up on end and have plenty of clearance to do anything, you know, if we need to clearance it for a belt drive or clearance it for a gear drive, anything like that. And then we also have the fourth axis rollover table so that we can put blocks in here, we can rotate them over, we can do half inch head stud, sleeve it, top fuel hoop it, whatever. And then obviously our cylinder head programs, it won't do full CNC porting. We still are gonna be outsourcing that work to another CNC shop that we work with. But some of our more simple three axis, four axis machining, we can now perform in this absolute unit of a machine. I mean, it's just huge. And so this was dropped off on Monday, yesterday, this week. And I think next Monday, Haas is going to come out. They're gonna wire it for us. They're gonna set it up, make sure all the fluids are good, make sure everything's level, make sure it's working as it's supposed to be. And then we can start having some fun with it. Immediately, we're gonna program it to cut some cylinder head tasks, because we just got a bunch, uh, basically a full container of cylinder heads that we need to do a bunch of machining on. And then after that, we'll start programming in some more intricate block programs as well as exploring options. I mean, it's a CNC machine. We can make whatever we want to. Uh, billet intakes, billet valve covers, timing covers, rear covers. I mean, it goes on and on and on. So I am super happy for the potential that this machine is gonna give us to literally make whatever we want to. Anything cool, engine related, we can do it now. That machine's freaking awesome. The potential is there. So. Back in the shop now, we also have our own Smetting valve covers getting made. They're all cast. Really trick our logo protrudes a little bit. They come in black powder coat or natural finish. So if you have an old Smetting 383 or 406 crate motor, give us a call and we can hook you guys up with a set of these new valve covers. What's really trick too is the loom for our spark plug wires bolts directly to the valve cover. So it really tidies everything up. They have a bolt-in baffle and we made the holes for these grommets a little bit smaller than what the industry standard is. So they're a little stiffer to push your breather in and to push your PCV valve in, but because they're so much tighter, they create a really nice seal and we don't have you know, any dripping or oil seeping out around this hole, which is unfortunately really common with your standard small block Chevy valve cover. Okay, I think that wraps everything up. A quick rundown on what we have been up to here at Smetting Performance. Some big block Chevys, some eight stack Fords. We got our new CNC machine. Things are looking good. We're staying busy. Big thank you to you guys. Y'all are, I know I'm a small channel, almost barely at 30,000 subscribers, but even at that rate or even at that size, the difference you guys have made and what we're able to do here and the product quality that we're able to offer our customers has been massively noticeable. So I am super excited for the future. Thank you so much for watching and supporting us. Have a great rest of your day.